Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the importance of email list, what it takes to create one, and how to do this with AI tools like ChatGPT. This is one of the key elements of your future success, so don't skip it and stay till the end. I'll give you another extra pro tip. Let's go. Our key objective with an email welcome campaign is to make sure that our clients or subscribers know what to do. They have a very specific expectations of what's going to come to them. And that has to be crisp and clear. So let's recap. This is the old model. Go watch the first video when we first created it. We have people coming in from YouTube and Twitter, the landing on a content page or maybe a homepage. And then I invite them to sign up for my newsletter. I made a mistake here. The reason I'm changing this on the fly in front of you is just to show that this is very easy. I'm going to say that about 5% of people are going to sign up for my newsletter. In this example, we're going to have a three component welcome sequence in which we're not going to be selling anything. The first email is going to be all about introductions, welcome. Second is going to be querying about interest. And the third one is going to lay out what to expect next. Between the first and the second email, there's going to be a day delay between the second and the third. I say two days delay. And after that, we're going to put them in the whole regular newsletter sequence, which is always going to prompt them. Hey, I have this offer. You might want to check it out. It may work for you. Remember, when you're sending emails, not all of your recipients are going to be opening them. So about 20% is a very healthy open rate. Click through rate. That's the number that shows how many people are going to click on anything that you include in your newsletter. And unsubscribe rate, self-explanatory has to be as low as possible always have a call to action. Always ask people what to do. Now I have a trick up my sleeve because of, because of that 20% open rate, I want to make sure that if somebody hasn't received my uh, newsletter or hasn't opened it, I'm going to resend it to them again. Give it a second attempt. I'm going to do it for the first one and I'm going to do it for the second one. Okay. Our strategy is now been set. We know what we're trying to do. Now we need to implement this. And to implement this, I am going to go to my trusty tool, Active Campaign. What we're going to do in Active Campaign is we're going to first create a list where all of the contacts who subscribe to the new letter will fall. Second, we're going to give them a tag so that we know where people are coming from into this list. And this is going to become important when we start selling products, when we have more than one product, so we can customize and talk to people on a personal level. Once we've done that, I want to spend just one second talking about the platforms. Take time to select the platform that you're going to use because porting your recipients from one platform to the next can come with challenges. Platforms do not like when you upload lists. They don't know where they came from and they are very concerned about their deliverability rates. Ping me if you don't know what that means, I'm happy to explain. Okay, list is set, tags are set. We're gonna start our automation because I do not want to touch any of this. I want to make sure that people who subscribe to my newsletter immediately get feedback. Where are we starting? For anyone who signs up to the newsletter and falls into that master list, we're going to send email number one. Let's select master contact list. It's only going to run once and off we go. First things first, we're going to just create the outline of what is going to happen. So we're going to create a shell for those three emails. Onboarding email one. Then we're going to ask our clients um, to wait. Well, actually, we're not going to ask them anything. It's just we're going to create a day delay. And tomorrow, the day after they signed up, we're going to send them the second email. After that one day, we're going to create an additional email. That email is going to provide, in my case, an invitation to take a quiz. And a quiz is a very elegant way of finding out more about your clients, finding out what they're here to do what you should be offering them. So here we go. We've created all three emails and now it's start to start writing them. This is where the magic of chat GPT or Claude AI come into play because they save a tremendous amount of time. So check out the description and download all of the prompts that I've used to create 
titles, and then the body of the email. Now, this is an incredible website and it's a pro tip. You can test and you should test all of your subject lines. It gives you parameters uh, which it uses to score how likely your subject line is going to be clicked on. I created my subject line with ChatGPT and now I'm going to tinker with this. And now that I'm happy with this, I'm going to use it. Oh, one thing, I'm going to add solo to the tagline. My subject line is going to read, John, congrats on your first solo step. One thing to remember, and I'm going to do this in just one second, personalization. Emails have to be personalized. So this is how ActiveCampaign uses it. You just tell it, use the first name field instead of John, and every client who receives this is going to feel that they are being talked to on a personal level. It's very important. Now, the only thing left is to format this. I'm going to keep this very simple plain text. So the deliverability of this email is highest. Sometimes images can lead to lower people seeing your emails. I'm going to track my links because I gave people direction to sign up to my Twitter. And now we rinse and repeat. We're going to go do a second email. Here is the second email. Pause if you want to see it. We're going to go to third email, test the email subject lines, make sure that it's good to go, make sure that it's personal, and then just go back to ChatGPT take what was generated from the prompt, put it here and make it personal. Always make it personal. Never leave it just in the hands of the AI. Next steps is to fine tune the automation. Remember I said that those who haven't opened the email should be sent it again. These are the steps I'm gonna take. My sequence, my welcome sequence is ready and the only thing that's left is to activate this. So this is live on active campaign. Boom, press this button. We're ready to go. Now onto my website that we've seen before. Here is my sign up form right on my homepage. This is again why I love Thrive Themes. They make it so simple to connect active campaigns and to configure collection of emails. This is all API driven. I highly recommend for you to check them out if you're using anything but Thrive Themes to work on your WordPress site. So we're, we're gonna put people in master contact list, make sure we assign this tag to them. And that is it. We are connected. You are in is gonna be the message when people click the subscribe button and we're ready to go. That was easy. Any one of you can go to my website and see this in action. Now what I need to do still is work on that quiz, work on those blog post recommendations that I'm gonna be providing in the welcome sequence letter number two, and we're ready. And the final pro tip, in the very first email that you send out, make sure you ask your recipients to respond. If they do, all of the next emails will definitely land in the inbox. That was a very quick and dirty example of how it's done. I written a blog post about this where I talk about some of the more nuanced frameworks. The way you nurture your clients, the way you talk to them, especially if you're having a consulting business, especially if you want to set a brand presence. Make sure you check it out. It's in description below. Let's see, did we forget anything today? Nope.